Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the Weekly Astrology for the week starting the 3rd to the 9th of April 2017. Scorpio, this week we have all sorts of interesting things happening to you. A lot of people are going through a hard time because Venus, the planet of love, is going retrograde. Well, you know, ex-lovers might pop up. There are things to resolve from the past. But interestingly, for you, you've got it in one of the more pleasant houses. You've got it in your creative, soulmates, joyful, fun zones. So it could be that Venus is dragging you to the past to help you remember what it is to have fun in love and in relationships, to be flirty, to be lighthearted, to be joyful. When was the last time you had a good old laugh with your lover? If you're single, when was the last time you felt positive and optimistic about love? Well, Venus is taking you by the hand and drawing you backwards to say, come on, remember the happy times. There have been times in your life where you had pleasure. There have been times in your life where you've been super creative. Let's say you're super happy now. Then the potential is for you to go with your current lover to do something that you used to do in the past that made you happy. Whatever it is, Venus wants you to smile, to lighten your heart, and to bring joy to your spirit. On the 6th, Mars, your previous ruler and your dear old mate, is in your position of relationships, making you very passionate in general this week. And it's trining, trine is a good thing, Pluto, the lord of transformation, and your ruler in your position of communication. If you haven't been able to communicate your feelings and your desires, or you haven't been able to kind of bring harmony into your closest relationships with your nearest and dearest, or there's been problems, you have the strength, you have the power, you have the passion this week to sort things out. If that wasn't enough, we have Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, the Papa of the Sky, the big daddy of planets that gives tough love, going retrograde, going backwards in your financial sector. How are you doing with money? Have you overspent in the past? Have you been reckless and foolish with your money? Or whatever way you've been, Saturn wants you to look at it to see why you are where you are now. I mean, maybe you're perfectly well off, but either way, Saturn wants you to go backwards and say, okay, well then use those skills to create even more foundations in your life. But most likely there's something in your past that needs transforming and changing when it comes to your attitude to finances. On top of that, as well as that, we have the sun opposing Jupiter on the 7th, which is making everybody kind of optimistic, possibly foolishly optimistic, but joyful and overexcited. And it's saying to you, take care of the details. You may have a spiritual dream. You may have a great soul calling. And that's great. If you take care of the detail, details, all will be well. A little word of caution. Look out on the 9th uh, as we have the sun squaring your ruler, Pluto. And again, there may be some argy-bargy conflict or communication about, you know, details and criticism and stuff like that. Don't fall into it. Stick with the joy. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share if you do. And I've got a little present for you. If you go to horoscope.co.uk, I now have a, not only a free chart wheel, but free birth chart interpretation. So pop along and have a look. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.